Hello everyone, Rudar here with another Grounded video. Today's video will be going over the storage system that I set up. I've had a couple people, uh, including some of my mods, request that I make a video on how I sort my storage. Uh, as far as colors and symbols and all that other fun stuff. So we're going to go in, start from the left, work our way around the pantry. I believe I have everything in here. Oh. So starting down here at the bottom left, your basic building ingredients. Um, green leaf, plant fiber. White leaf because you're spinning it into rope. Blue leaf because you find clovers by the water. Yellow leaf because dry grass is, well, yellow. Purple leaf for sprigs because I ran out of colors. And I didn't want to use anything else because you see that right there is the teal leaf is my slime molds. Uh, but they're over there because I found a lot in the pond. The water droplet is, well, canteens full of water. This is a just a generic smoothie box. You can put, this is when you can put all kinds of different smoothies. You can literally make a box. If you want to do a box disagree machine, make that green. Do a box of Hedgelord, make it purple. Um, what is this? Human food, kind of yellow color. Liquid Rage, red. And Worker's Comp, you could pick, you know, well, black, I guess. I don't know that I'm a gray. So. The reason I do purple here, and for this, you see the green, uh, not instead of the red cross, we have the green cross, because healing smoothies are green. These are the healing smoothies. This is the symbol for healing, because I used to be a medic. I know red red is the correct color, but with the smoothies being green, I went with a green cross instead. I must have messed with that box. No wonder it's sitting a little far back. So that one has the, uh, the gray sword, because... Mag uh, quartzite. Sorry, I don't know why I was going with magna. But anyway, magnets. Uh, quartzite is roughly that color, and it's used to repair your weapons. So, weapon repair, weapon. That is those nine. Now we're going to come over here to the, this wall. So you see some boxes don't have symbols because they're empty. I have extra boxes on purpose. We have the brown uh, droplet, which is basically sap. And it's almost, the, you know, that's... Every, every world I've been to, this is what I see people mark their sap as. Now, I'm just going to go across the bottom row and move up each row at a time. Because the next row up, you can see, is food. Now, we have, there's four hammer symbols. It takes a hammer to break open acorns. So, we have the acorn top with the black hammer. And then the acorn shell with the brown hammer. Because, well, they're both kind of brownish, but I wanted to have... And there's a reason why they're in this order, so that I have a little bit of... Vari uh, variation in the colors. I go brown, black, brown. Now purple <clears throat> is for the leather. Um, it is used to make, um, I want to say, let's see, let's check crafting. It's used to make a particular weapon, I believe. Ooh, I know it's used to repair. It helps if my mouse wants to click on the right thing. Nope, okay. Uh, it's used to make the hammer, so that's why it gets that hammer symbol. I've had it that way since the beginning, and then it's just something I've gotten used to. Some people have asked me why I pulled a blue flower out of a blue hammer box, because this blue flower is used to make the mint mace. You use the mint mallet, um, and you use it to make that particular thing. You also use it to repair that particular item as well. Uh, the red shovel, um, obviously I'm over here, uh, eastern flooded zone. Red shovel is clay. Uh, you need a shovel to dig it out. The clay is red, red shovel. Um, this is a basketball. Uh, it's the closest thing I could find for a rock. And this is the pebbles. These are only in here for this video. Typically this is empty because of the me uh, the massive wall I've been working on lately. Um, if you guys have been in stream, you've seen the mega wall I'm building over at Red. Uh, making the devs just type into my chat literally WTF. <laughs> um, <coughs> that's obviously a bomb. Bombs. The bombs have changed color since we got them. So this could theoretically be white. Matched. It's actually a better bomb symbol because when we first got bombs, they weren't, they didn't look like this. They've changed over time. And like I said, these are extra boxes for when I need them, and we will eventually need them. Moving up to the second level, that looks like acorn bits, that particular symbol. And that's what's in there. Yellow, and it's just a rotated version of this. Next to this, now this needs to be changed because not long ago we were given a mushroom symbol. So a white mushroom for white mushrooms. Now these three is that's that that is my symbol for jerky. And each this is the six different types of jerky. There are no red ones in here because a base that has doesn't have quite as much space as this. I put all the jerky in one box. It gets a red symbol like this versus being broken apart. So the black hot dog or jerky 
is the Weevils, because Weevils themselves are black. Uh, aphid, green. Aphids are green. Now, Grubs are blue, because Grub Goop is blue. Gnats are white, because Gnat Fuzz is white. And these two are recent additions, and that is the Tadpole. I just went with orange. I needed a color that would stand out a little bit more from those four that I originally had. As well as Water Flea. I went with purple. Once again, something to stand out so I can tell real clear which one's which. And it's it's there's no doubt in my mind which one's which. We have another empty box. Now we have the skull, the black skull, which is for the uh, gas mask. Which, you know, they're not as great as they used to be because they get damaged just by walking around in the haze. Or in a stink bug's gas stack. It's not fun. But that is that row. Top row, there's even some relics up here. We have the, uh, what is this, web fiber? And that was the closest symbol I could get to this right here. So I went with the cog wheel. And that was the closest symbol I could get to this right here. Because it has a bunch of different points. This has a bunch of different points. And I went white. So if you spin it, well, I spun it into purple. And the reason it's purple is because spider venom is purple. That box is over there. So I went with silk rope being spun off of the web fiber. And I just went with purple to give me the uh, same type of symbol, different color. Didn't have a symbol for bug rubber. So I went with the white star. That's what that is. Bug rubber for bounce webs. It's a lot of fun. Now these two boxes, and also bug rubber is white, so I went with the same color. These two boxes are relics. As in, we can't use armor glue, white, or super armor glue, blue, anymore. They're the shield shape because, well, it looks exactly like that. They're that color. They stay there. They're relics of an, a distant past. <laughs> Not so distant past, actually. Now, for this one, when Shyla joined my world for the dev uh, stream on March 3rd, she was like, oh, it's a mystery box. She didn't realize that we don't have... The dandelion tuft for boxes, you do have it on trail markers. The dandelion marker, I would love to have that in here. The little dandelion marker would be sweet. I would change the from the question mark to this, but instead I have to use question mark because it's the closest thing that I can come up with for me. And every base has white question mark box, and that's what's in it. A bunch of tufts. Especially now that Daredevil's broken, you're going to need those. Um, feathers at one point were very valuable, so I went with the black gem. The black diamond because well feathers are black and these are very very at one point valuable so I went with the black diamond let's see we have nectar aphid honeydew yep nectar for the same teardrop shape and i went with this, that color to try to match and then aphid honeydew if you look inside let's see which one is it yeah it's this one it has what looks like an actual aphid's head but it kind of maybe sort of point up, point to the side, a little bit like that. So that's how I differentiate the two. That way I don't get confused. And then, for as I'm building more and more bases, when you make mushroom gardens, especially since I put out that weevil video about farming weevils, um, you need mushroom gardens to get mushrooms. I mean, you can pick them up regularly from the from the world too. But having them respawn in your base so you can um, get your uh, mushrooms out in your traps, good idea. So I went with the uh, green skull or the green death head since the spoiled meat even the word for spoiled is green so i just kind of went with that because if you eat that you'll get really sick all right this above the workbench or somebody's probably thinking probably thinking move the workbench you could put more boxes there i know i don't want to i like the way it looks this is all arrows whether it's the parts for the arrow obviously might fuzz thistles and then there's basic arrows. You see it's a red arrow because the red fletching. We have the black arrow because, well, it's made with feathers and the, fe the fletching is also that way. The one arrow I don't have over here, which would be a pink arrow, would be lure. Green because of the green gas off of the, gr the gas arrows. Venom for the purple fletching. And then, like I said, for the, um, for the lure traps, it would be... I'm sorry, the lure arrows, not lure traps. It would be a pink arrow like that, but I would not put it next to the red. Um, I'll go ahead and put that back before I forget. So I do have those arrows somewhere. I don't remember where. They're probably over in, the, in that brand new mega base I've built. But uh, 
So a pink arrow would be for the lure arrows. I'm not a huge fan of them. They don't work that well. So yeah. Now moving on to the bug wall. I will hide uh, this stuff. One second. Let me pause real quick for a moment. Sorry about that. I had to pause for a moment. All right. Now this is the bug wall. This is the boxes of all the bugs. Um, as you see, there's multiple of the same shape and same color because certain bugs give us duplicate uh, two pieces per bug, such as ladybugs. This would be ladybug uh, shell pieces. I don't have any over here. I kind of I thought I did, but I must have used them. And of course, ladybug heads. So you have ladybug heads and then the ladybug pieces. I know somebody's thinking, oh, ladybugs are, are red, but the head is not. That's why I use black for the ladybug, because red denotes ants. Oh, I need a drink. No Alright, now blue, it, because grub goop is blue, I went with the blue. I could have probably gone teal on that, but I went with blue for grub goop. There's probably no grub. Oh, there is grub hiding here. Wow. So the grubs give you two different things other than um, raw meat, which goes in a box over there. If you notice, if you remember, that is a blue. So it all kind of consistently goes with the same color blue. This is that kind of, I don't know, not quite purple. I think like mauve, maybe, I don't know. This would be gas sacks. I've used them all. And then the body parts. I had to pick some color somewhere, and that's what I came up with for stink bugs. Down here on the bottom, this teal color, because you see there's teal and then green. And there's a reason why the green is, is there on, on purpose. I could have put this teal up here in these two slots, but I didn't. Because this white slot is for gnat fuzz. Because the, the Toad Island, not far from here, has a lot of gnats. Unused box. We have this teal for the weevils. And it's not just weevils as in the weevil nose, but it's also the exploity boy parts, the fungal growth. And if you notice, they have that kind of teal coloration through here. And that's where I went with the teal on this, is because of the coloration on these. Now I'm just going to move sideways. This is larva. Larva heads. And somebody's probably thinking, why green? Well, because acid glands come from larvae as well as ants. And this one is placed here on purpose as a very, a, a very strategic spot for me because ants, heads, mandibles, bodies, acid gland. Because acid gland comes from soldier ants as well as larvae. And therefore that box is kind of shared between the two. But it still gets the green marker since, well, acid glands themselves are green. All right, moving on, we have yellow, which is bombardiers. I probably don't have... Oh, I do have pop parts up here. Now, the reason they're yellow is because the bombardier's head itself, when you're fighting one, is yellow. So I went with yellow, since it's the only bug that really jumps out at me at, as yellow. And then, of course, the... Uh, the What is this? Boiling glands. Next to that, we have the spiders, which is pretty obvious. I mean, and the reason they're purple is because venom from spiders is purple. So then we have body parts and fangs. And then the blue spider one down here is the diving bell spider, the one from the water. Therefore, it's a water spider, so it's blue. These two are unused. That's why there's no marker. These are the three new bugs that were added with 6.0. This is mosquitoes. We have, it's red because the mosquito blood sack is, you know, red blood. The needle. This is fireflies. You're probably not going to see any goop in here because I've been using it for other stuff. Yeah, I still need some bioluminescent goop. But bioluminescent goop is green, and therefore fireflies get the green uh, little bug marker, the new one that we got right here. And then this one is for the bees. Now, I went with this look for the bees, this marker, because it looks similar to the side of the, um, the beehive. So we have the bee stingers, the bee fuzz, and because now they fixed pollen... And bees are dropping it near the new dandelions, those big yellow uh, flower dandelions. Excuse me. Pollen goes into the same kind of bee marker, so bees have three boxes. And then we come around here. This is These boxes are from the pond. I had to go get all these and bring them over here because, uh, as you can see, I am nowhere near the pond. So we have some unusual markers for some of these, such as these two stars. The brown star, because I didn't have anything else for water boatman fins, and they're brown, so brown star now you can use i, I could use several other things but i just wanted to use that one and that's the one i've stuck with because that's the one i've gotten used to um and let's see we have the one next that's a green star that's going to be eelgrass strands green 
Same thing. I don't really have anything that I really could use. I'm not going to use that because that one, that particular marker is overused in my world. Now you see we have two different fuzz uh, type ones. This one up here because lily pads are kind of round. Lily pad wax. I don't have a square or else I'd have done a square and made it green. Could have done maybe that, but lily pads are roughly round. When I when this first came out, algae, algae wasn't something we could pick up, so it was actually green. But once we could pick up algae, algae, however you want to pronounce it, that became this one. Because, I mean, it looks almost exactly like that, so that was common sense for me. Now, this is an orange shield, and it's not to be confused with those two shields over there. This is because it is very similar in shape on the koi, sh the, uh, koi fish scale. You have black and orange, black and orange, and a roughly similar shape. Uh, obviously, bone is a bone symbol, a white bone, because these sunken fish bones are white. So it makes sense that the sunken bone be in a bone box. Uh, I didn't have anything... Uh, I, For me, when I saw the mussel sprouts, they're round like a ball, so and they're pink. So I went with a pink basketball symbol. That's just, that's how I do mine. Um... This is that the leaf or from I showed you earlier. Now these are not just from the pond, but they I can find a bunch in the pond. I can find a bunch in the anthill, the larva cave, and a few other places, including like the starting, the little starting cave you have to go into when you first start the game. You can get some slime mold sconces and or slime mold stalks in there. Um, underneath Break Rock Point, you can get some more. But because I can get them out of the pond, I went with, and because to me they're just I don't know this made sense to me. I don't know why, but it did. Just because nothing else in here really jumped out at me is that's what I should use. And I looked. So I went with that. That way I have a different color. I have that teal color for the leaf. Which is also separated from these just to make it very easy for me to spot. And the final one, the green question mark, is not a random box. It is slime mold lanterns or slime lanterns. And they are roughly that shape. I wish the mouse would not center itself. But that is roughly, and they're green. So with the green question mark says they're roughly that shape. Now, I don't, don't keep those over here. Um, I just have them here for this video. This stuff I had to go get for the video because I typically keep it over at Blue Base, which is my aircraft carrier on the water. And by having everything like this, I can reach pretty much anything I want as far as being able to make stuff. Um, you see, I can even reach the sunken bone. You see that one right there. And that one is all the way at the door. So I can reach this box. Um, I do have a pantry video on how this pantry is set up and different spacings for how you want to set up if you want to make sure that you can reach every box. Um, and I'll link that in the description below so you, if you're interested in that, you can check it out. I think 82 is all the boxes I have in here. It's very, very tricky. Now, obviously, I could move this out to the middle and reach everything, but I'm not worried about it. So... That is a video that was requested by viewers and, mod and some of my mods was a how I set up my boxes. I believe I got everything in a box other than the lure arrows, which would be just a pink arrow box because, well, they're pink as far as the little, um, this right here. The, the pink glob on it, the pink essence, the pink feathers, a pink box makes sense to me. Um, I do not have a box for decoy bait because I just don't make it that often. But uh, let's see. Let's take a look. We'll see if uh, if we can come up. If I can come find one in there real quick, it would probably be white, just because. Also, if you have apple bits, which I didn't go get those apples. Um, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and slide on over to orange. I'll pause. There's a couple boxes over there. Give me a second. I'll be right back. All right. Now I'm over here at my what I call main base. And there are four boxes here that I need to go over, these four, from this one to the blue one, because that's the only spot where I have them. Because there is an apple that spawns not far from here, the red apple symbol, red apple bits. Well, the skin of the apple is red. This one is more like that chicken drumstick. It's orange because I could have done red. I probably could have done red. Because hot dogs, they're red. But I did not want to use this symbol, which I know somebody's thinking, that's the hot dog symbol. I didn't want to use that because that's the universal symbol I've been using for a long time for my uh, the jerky that's in my game. The, uh, was this the black drumstick is where I have the cookie bits. And I went ahead while the October thing was going on. They gave us the uh, candy corn, candy corn lets. 
I put them in here because this box was the least full. Obviously, I could not put them in here. And this box at the time was a little bit more full than the cookie one, but there actually looks like the cookie might be a little bit more. So that's the apple, the hot dog, the Billy Hog Nugget, I think is what it's called, the cookie sandwich bits, and then the blue one, which everyone is always asking me, where is, where does mint respawn? Well, there's the mint. And mint does respawn in the game, and I will actually take you over there. That'll be the, uh, probably, the, yeah, that's kind of how I think we'll wrap up this video is, I'm just going to show you where to find more mint to put in that particular box. Because mint is super, super rare, so it, and it's blue, so it got the blue diamond marker. Oh, look, my toaster. We're going to go into the anthill. It might lag a little bit because I haven't cleaned up over here in a while. As you can see, I had uh, a little bit of cleaning issue. I'll oh, be quiet. Alright, so you didn't light up your anthill before 8.0. I apologize for, you know, showing this, but you can't do that anymore. Hey, look, line was... So you come in here with your torch. Just keep going straight. This is after you've cleared out the, uh, the container. Once you get to the first big room, you're going to go left through the Tunnel of Red. Past all these guys. And this hole in the floor is the the way down to the where the mint spawns. So when you're in here, there are some ant eggs that might spawn in here. I wouldn't pick them up unless you want to make the ants angry. Um, remember, if you've done this and they break your stuff, you can't put it back. You have to reload to save. Alright, so we're going to drop down. I've even lit up this room, and there's the mint in the bottom of the anthill. So you got to find the hole in the floor, drop down, and the mint is over here. And it spawns here. I do not know the exact amount of days, but I'm pretty sure it's a week or more in-game. Um, it's anywhere from a week to two weeks in-game. Um, I've had that piece sitting there forever because you saw the box that I showed you guys. It's over 100 pieces in that box, and I don't need it. So... I just wanted to show that real quick since we talked about mint in a box at the, the very end. And I figured somebody might be like, where's the mint respawn? No, I'll take care of that real quick. And for whatever reason, my ants are uh, all on the damn walls. So, thank you guys for uh, watching the video. And hopefully this helped you guys out if y'all are trying to maybe sort and organize. There's going to be probably somebody watches that's like, I don't need to sort it that much. Then don't. It's up to you. I am very OCD about my organization as far as sorting things. And it bothers me immensely when my boxes and such are not uh, properly sorted. When I'm building a new base and I've got a whole bunch of stuff um, just all dumped in one box. Like I have in my big giant clover, four leaf clover right now. That annoys me when I go over there to mess with it. Um, but I've been busy working on another base so I haven't really messed with it too much. But if you guys like this content and would like to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Turn on the bell for notifications. And until the next video, I'll have a good one.